There are mounting fears for the Iranian wrestler Amin Bazargar, who's now been missing for six months. Bazargar disappeared shortly after he made a public show of support for his friend and fellow wrestler Navid Afkari, who was executed in 2020 for taking part in a peaceful protest. The former coach of Iran's national wrestling team said this was now the situation of Iranian athletes. We either hear about their arrest or their death sentence or their disappearance. Well, my next guest has been campaigning to find out what has happened to Amin Bazargar. Banaf Shizand is an, Iran an Iranian-American journalist and human rights expert, and she joins us now. Thank you very much uh, for being with us. Uh, so first of all, then, I mentioned a little in the introduction, but what exactly do we know about Mr. Bazargar? Uh, almost nothing, actually, because uh, generally, as it turns out, um, and according to my own experience of many, many years of uh, activism and reporting on the issues of human rights uh, violations of the Khomeiniist regime, uh, often what happens is that many people uh, are disappeared. In other words, they are kidnapped or they are um, basically taken away by the regime uh, authorities and security guards. Um, the regime either tells people, the families, not to speak up and not to let anybody know, not to react or make a big deal out of it. And that that will end up um, essentially helping uh, the case and letting their, and, and them leading them, in other words, to letting their loved ones to be to be released. In this case, it's six months has gone by and there's no news of um, of the man. And um, have you spoken to his family? Uh, many of the various activists who I'm in touch with and who are in uh, who are on top of the situation uh, contact me and let me know what's what um, the family can't necessarily get in touch with me directly because of the various concerns for their security. Um, being that I'm one of the more outspoken activists and more well-known journalists who covers these, these issues, um, often it's a question of knowing you know, of being very sort of conservative in the way we approach things. Uh, in the case of this gentleman, we were unfortunately only um, notified of this situation just several weeks ago. And all because of the fact that his fellow, fellow athletes and his colleagues and friends have spoken up and have finally, um, you know, forced the issue for an answer and on on, on his disappearance, uh, a response on his and, whereabouts. From and, the and you've mounted legal challenges in the United States, is that right? Have, have they come to anything? Can you tell us about that? Um, well, for the time being, I mean, I sued the regime um, and various leaders of the regime because of my own issues. Um, my own father, who was a celebrated Iranian journalist and um, public intellectual, was uh, just like this gentleman kidnapped um, away from his sister's house. Uh, in November of 2001, it was the fourth time in uh, since the beginning of the revolution, since 1979, when he had that he had been that, that he had been abducted or arrested or or re re detained. Uh, in his case, uh, what they put us through, myself, my family, my sisters, my stepmother, my uncles and aunts, um, was so intense that. Um, it basically turned into uh, even threatening us, abusing us uh, outside of Iran. Um, myself, they tried to kidnap myself off the streets of New York City in 2004. Um, and basically in 2011, finally, when my father did die, um, the regime has claimed that it was suicide, whereas we know that it was not. And even if it was, it wasn't, it was you know, mm. um, simply the fact that they drove him to it. Right. So in the case of my father and what has happened to me, 
I um, have sued them and it's in, we're in the process right now and I'm waiting to hear more about it. And as soon as I know something, okay. you will too. We, we look forward to, to hearing some good news there. Uh, why do you think the regime is going after athletes in particular? I mean, there, there was a boxer, uh, Mohammed Javad, uh, he's been sentenced to death. There was a champion wrestler, Mehdi Ali Hosseini. He was executed last year. Uh, another was tortured. Why do you think they are specifically going after athletes? Um, well, look, athletes are, are, in a sense, a kind of a representative of, of the country. And um, the regime's approach is that if you are a uh, exactly the representative of the regime, then you should be... Um, representing the what what we're all about so if in other words you go to a tournament you're not allowed to fight you know um you're not allowed to have an israeli opponent you have you're not allowed to fight an israeli you're not allowed to fight an american you're not allowed to if in the case of the women you're not allowed to take off your hijab um it, it it's such a it's such a restrictive situation on all of these people who basically just want to do their you know play their sports and do have their career and their lives and the kind of control and um and rather bizarre bullying that the regime does um is basically at some point just makes them all sort and, of and Re react uh, reactive to them in other words and uh, i mean there are figures that, that show iran carries out 250 executions a year in addition to around 100 executions of children every year do you think human rights organizations pay enough attention to what's happening in iran um i know that uh well um amnesty international uh, amnesty international certainly does human rights watch in my opinion is extremely biased and much much very dangerously so they've proven um decade after decade to be politically um biased toward what the regime gives them in terms of excuse um, and uh, I'll say one thing, and that is that the numbers that you just gave, put out there mm -hmm. um, are likely extremely low and very conservative. Um, the real numbers are much higher because there are certain um, executions that happen in smaller towns, in villages, in areas where local mullahs um, have personal issues and take and, mm -hmm. and basically use their positions that to... Issue. 